invitation for college students. His master thesis form focused grammar instructions, effects on grammar accuracy and oral and writing proficiency in English was published in the conference proceedings of the sixth Asian Conference on Language Learning held in Kobe, Japan in April 2016. At present, he is the Assistant Academic Director of, at Midway Colleges Incorporated, Cabanatu and City, Nueva Ecija. It's my pleasure to introduce our STEAM, Mr. Richard L. Oandasan. Sir? Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Christian, for that uh, warm introduction. To our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Sabina Zaraklomo Mangikmog II, um, to the also director, Mr. Jim Will Roque, uh, to the faculty members who are watching right now via our Facebook live stream. And so we also have a couple of faculty uh, who join via Zoom. And most importantly, to our beloved students and our would-be students, and of course, our very dear parents, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Isang mapagpalaya at isa pong mainit na hapon sa ating lahat. Thank you so much for taking the time out to be with us today. Yung huling salita po doon po sa ating guest, the word is excitement. We understand that we are anxious, we are nervous right now. But more than that, we are so excited to present and to share with you what Midway has been preparing for the past three months to ensure that learning continues to ensure that quality education is delivered. So ang aking pong pakay sa hapon na ito ay ibahagi sa inyo ang mga konkretong plano ng aming paaralan upang ma-ensure po na magpapatuloy ang edukasyon at uh, makakaasa kayo na makakakuha pa rin ng dekalidad na edukasyon ang inyong mga anak sa kabila po ng pandemya. So to continue, oops. next slide please. Alright, so um, ang akin pong ipinapakita sa inyo ay uh, sort of context building. Now we have, of course, everyone is aware that this COVID-19 pandemic has really resulted in a lot of unprecedented changes. Changes that we did not expect. Changes that really shaped the world, mga pagbabagong hindi natin inaasahan, and has almost uh, modified the way we do things, almost all facets of human endeavor including education, of course, no? Uh, who would have thought that um, the education now will be conducted in a different landscape, in a new normal, next normal, some would say, but some would say it's a better normal for us. So, dahil po sa pangyayaring ito, midway, you know, as an institution, as, uh, as an institution who has been operating for more than uh, 27 years, no? Um, is one with the government, is one with the educators, not just in the Philippines, pero po sa buong mundo. We are one with a campaign that learning must continue. Nakipapanood po natin sa telebisyon na iba-iba pong mga argumento na, ako hindi ko na pag-aaralin ng aking anak kasi online naman, no? baka masayang lang. But that is actually a misnomer. Ibig sabihin po, yan po ay isang myth. All the more that at this time, learning and education must continue. Um, ang sabi po ng ilang pag-aaral and even by UNESCO attested na kapag ka ang mga bata po ay hindi nagpatuloy ng pag-aaral, it will actually result in more adverse effects. Katulad po halimbawa, ang mga bata ay mas magiging prone sa, sa domestic violence, mas magiging prone po sila uh, sa mga uh, unproductive na mga activities. Also, if your children will not continue with their education, it's a lost opportunity for them. Bakit po lost opportunity? So imagine niyo po kung halimbawa ang anak niyo ay grade 11 at huminto po siya, ibig sabihin meron po siyang isang taon na gap sa kanya pong pag-aaral at ibig sabihin nito ang mga classmate niya ay graduate na ng grade 12 at siya po ay magiging grade 12 pa ulit. So you can just imagine the kind of demotivation no, na idudulot po nito sa ating mga anak. Kaya po kami sa Midway Colleges, kaisa po kami ng pamahalaan, kaisa po kami ng uh, mga iba't ibang organisasyon that learning must continue. But the question is, how will we continue? How will we ensure that, you know, there is still quality? So kaya po ang Midway ay naglatag po ng uh, programa. So at this juncture, we would like to, of course, express our, our gratitude and our thanks to our management and to the Learning Continuity uh, Plan Committee for helping us put this plan together. So excited na po ba kayo? Kasi kami excited na kami. So let me go ahead and move forward. So paano nga po ba itakandak ni Midway? ang education in this new, next, or better normal. 
So, meron po kaming overview muna. We have what we call a three-phase learning continuity plan. Okay? Ang learning continuity plan po na ito ay tumutugon sa mandato ng gobyerno sa mga patakaran, minimum health protocols, community quarantine classification. So ano-ano po ba ito para po sa taong panuruan 2020-2021? Uh, so the next slide will actually show you how Midway plans to, to proceed you know, with, with education. So meron po siyang three phases. Ang unang phase po ay what we call the remote flexible learning. Ibig sabihin po, remote, ang pag-aaral po ay magaganap po sa inyong mga tahanan. No? Um, at meron po itong uh, leeway no flexible po siya ibig sabihin um mamaya po ipapaliwanag ko kung ano ibig sabihin ng konteksto but this is to ensure that the safety and health of your children at kayo na rin po no ay masisigurado natin with this uh with this uh, modality okay ngayon po kapag ka tayo po ay pinayagan na ng gobyerno na magkaroon po ng face to face then we will proceed with our phase 2 which is what we call blended learning Ang blended learning po ay kaya po blended, ito po ay kombinasyon ng pag-aaral remotely sa inyong bahay at pag-aaral po sa loob ng paaralan, yung ating pong kinagawian na residential. So, um, ito po yung ikalawang phase natin. Ngayon po, ito po ang inaantay ng lahat, yung pangatlong uh, phase kung saan muli tayong makakabalik no, sa loob ng ating mga pamantasa, sa loob ng ating paaralan so that your children can socialize kasi importante po yun, no? yung social skills ay ma-develop. Ma, ma Ang tawag po ni Midway dyan ay what we call enhanced residential learning. Bakit po enhanced? Parang pag sinabi kasi nating enhanced, ano na siya eh, na polish, no? mas pinaganda, mas pinaayos. No? Uh, it is enhanced because at this time, meron na tayo yung combination, yung kagandahan ng remote, yung kagandahan ng blended, maa-apply na natin siya both in campus and in the confines of your home. So, uh, ito po ay, uh, kumbaga, ito po ay version ng midway sa ECQ, modified ECQ, GCQ, hanggang mag-modified GCQ, no? So, ganun din po ang midway. Tutugun po siya, no, sa, sa uh, mandate of the government, no, national and the local government unit. Again, because our primary priority is the safety and health. Okay, and wellness of your children. At kayo rin po, no? kaya we, we devised this three-phase uh, continuity, learning continuity plan. Pero ang gusto ko pong pag-usapan natin ngayon ay yung phase one. Kasi ito po yung, uh, this is what's going to happen in few weeks time. No? Kasi po, we are opening our classes on August 24th. So we are very excited to actually launch this remote flexible learning. So, um, in the next few minutes, I will be discussing with you kung ano po ba ang components nito. Next slide, please. Alright. So, ito po ay pinang pinangalanan nating flex leap. Yung flex kasi, di ba, yung, yung ganyan, you flex your muscle. Leap, ibig sabihin yan, jump, pagtalon, no? Um, while it is true that we have pandemic, our, our goal is to actually move forward. That's the name, flexible learning program. Pero in midway, ano nga po ba ang ibig sabihin ng flexible? Kasi narinig po natin ito madalas, no? magkakaroon kami ng flexible uh, learning modality. But in midway, in our context, it is remote. It is home-based learning modality. That means your children and you as well are given the freedom to actually choose when, choose where, and choose how to learn. Kasi po, we recognize that each family is very unique in terms of uh, beliefs, in terms of values, and more importantly, in terms of resources. No? E, ang base po sa aming survey, ang iba po ay may mga laptop, ang iba po ay may phone, ang iba po ay may internet connection, ang iba po ay kumukonek using mobile data, at yung sa mga malalayong lugar po ay medyo challenge ito. So, does that mean that education should stop, that your children should not enroll? Hindi po dapat kasi ang in-offer po ng Midway ngayon ay isang flexible no na paraan ng pagkatuto. Okay? So um wherein your children are given the freedom. Okay? Although syempre may mga regulasyon pa rin tayo, pero ako what we're excited about is you know, you are given that that the, the options, choices which would suit your needs and your resources. Okay? Ang flexible po, continue. All right. Um 
Gusto ko lang din pong ibahagi sa inyo, paano po ba nabuo yung programa na ito? Yung programa po namin is guided by three principles. At ito po importante because we anchor our program on theories or yung teorya. Ibig sabihin po, ito po ay guided ng mga pananaliksi, guided ng practices in the industry, which, you know, we are so excited. Okay? Uh, parang hindi ito yung testing waters. Kumaga, may mga nag-aral nag na, may mga nag-implement na nito, okay, that we want to ensure that we will have the same success. So, tatlo po ang prinsipyong uh, pinanggagalingan ng flexible program ng Midway. Una po ay flexibility, di ba? Isipin po natin yung, yung uh, bamboo na nagpipin, di ba? Okay? Um, imagine, for example, a gymnast na kayang mag-bending. Okay, mag uh, uh, i-flex yung kanyang katawan. So, ibig sabihin po nito, yung learning that we are going to deliver ay nakatugon po sa inyong mga resources, sa pangangailangan po ng inyong anak. No? Uh, ibig sabihin po, hindi po kami purely online. So, yung flexible po is not equal to purely online. Kasi nga po, naiintindihan namin and we recognize that there are some of you who don't necessarily have um, internet uh, connectivity. Kaya po meron kaming option halimbawa na uh, hard copies po ng learning packs ang aming ibibigay. Meron din po kaming option, alam po na meron mga bata na mas okay mag-aral sa umaga. Meron din mga uh, nocturnal, ibig sabihin mas nakakapag-aral sila sa, sa gabi. Ako po, for example, mas nakakapag-aral ako pag madaling araw. Piling ko wala akong kahate. No? So, uh, ibig sabihin po, yung mga materials na yun, pwede nilang aralin at their own, uh, during their own time. Okay? Ang importante po ay ma-i-submit nila or ma-comply nila yung necessary requirements. So, ayun po ang ibig sabihin natin ng flexibility. Hindi mo rin kailangan ng may laptop. Better if you'll have one. Pero, kung phone po or tablet, pwede rin yun. No? Because, for example, uh, ito na, excited na talaga kami, yung, yung Microsoft na LMS natin, nagagamitin po namin, learning management system, can actually be accessed from either through your phone or through your laptop or through your iPad or through your iPad. No? So ito po yung mga level of flexibility that Midway is offering. Inclusivity. Ang mantra po ng Midway, no learner will be left behind amidst this pandemic. Okay? Uulitin po namin, just because you don't have the necessary resources doesn't mean okay, that you, know, uh, you will be left behind, that you will not be given attention all the more in our program. Kasi po, yung uulitin po po, ang flexible learning program po namin is not purely online. Hindi po siya purely online. No, meron po kami mga gagawin ng mga consultation, ang mga faculty po namin will be doing consultation in all, in a variety of, of formats and modalities, call, chat, email, no? kung kapitbahay siguro, pwede pong visitation yan. Okay? Pero of course, observing the, the health protocols. And ingenuity, ibig sabihin po ng ingenuity ay creativity. No? Um, Bigyan ko lang po kayo ng heads up. Ang aming pong mga teachers have already been attending series of webinars, no? At hindi po ito basta sa webinars. Uh, webinars, for example, uh, that, that, that are hosted by the University of the Philippines, no? Yung kanila pong education resilience as part of their white papers uh, na magtatapos po hanggang katapusan nito. Uh, they are actually required to attend these webinars, no? Um, para po to ensure that what they will be uh, incorporating sa kanila pong mga learning designs are innovative, are creative. So yun po yung ibig sabihin natin ng ingenuity. So in summary po, in this slide, ang gusto ko lang po iparating sa ating mga mahal na magulang at mga mahal na mga mag-aaral na nanonood ngayon ay um, yung pong aming flexible learning program ay naka-angkla. You know, very maritime term. It's anchored on you know, uh, this principle that will ensure that one, it caters to your needs. Two, your children will not be left behind. And three, that we are able to provide creative and innovative ways of doing education amid, you know, this uh, trying time. Next, please. So, ano po ba ang mga components? So, hihimay-himayin na po natin in the next 10 to 15 minutes, no? Uh, so, the next slide po will present an overview. So, hahatiin ko po yung susunod kong talk into the following. Course design. So, ito po, ano yung content? So, ano na ang magiging nilalaman ng pagtuturo ngayon sa Midway? Pangalawa po, teaching and learning. Paano ituturo yung content? So, ulit, yung course design would be the what. The teaching and learning would be the how. No? Um, and the student support is, so, marahil maraming yung satanong sa inyo. So, paano po, kapag halimbawa, uh, kailangan po ng anak ko ng kausap ng guidance counselor? Paano na po halimbawa ang mga co-curricular activities, extracurricular activities? 
will 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 midway still implement you know these activities na ginagawa during the the prior the pandemic no ano po ang magiging suporta ng midway kasi hindi kami makakapunta diyan hindi makakapunta ang anak ko diyan and more importantly kung ako ay nasa trabaho at ang anak ko you know will, will be at our home what kind of support will midway provide you know more than the academics Okay, uh, uh, undertaking. At syempre po, yung parang sa umbrella, yung organization and management, importante rin po ito. So ito po ay hinalaw namin mula sa uh, executive course na inatinan po natin noong May. No? Nag-offer po sila dahil nga yung transition into uh, flexible learning uh, program. So gusto ko lang po emphasize ito para po ipaalam sa inyo na yung programa namin ay talagang pinag-isipan, well thought about and based on you know, um, on, on, on research and best practices. So, himayin po natin. Let's start with the course design. Okay. So, um, think about, di ba, may tinatawag na lesson plan ng mga teachers. So, ito po yung plano. Bago pumasok sa paaralan or bago pumasok sa classroom si teacher, pinagandaan niya yung isang oras ko, paano ko ba siya gugugulin. So, si Midway po, given our constraints, we want to make sure na ang ituturo po natin ay yung essential. Pag sinabi natin essential, yung mahalaga. Okay. Um, ang, ang syllabus po natin kasi dati parang napaka-congested. Think about MRT, LRT before na napakasikip. Diba? Pero right now, what Midway is going to do is to sort of decongest that. Medyo paluluwagin niya po. But at the same time, making sure na yung pinakakailangan na matutunan ng anak nyo, yun po yung matututunan nila. Kaya po tinawag po namin silang essential program standards. So, halimbawa po, kung ang anak nyo po ay mag-enroll ng maritime program, sa kanya pong unang taon, ano ba yung mga essential na knowledge na kailangan niya matutunan? Diba? Siyempre, dapat yung orientation, halimbawa, ano ba ang kakaharapin niya bilang isang future seafarer? Ano ang mga bahagi ng barko? Diba? So ito po yung ituturo natin sa ating mga, mga, mga anak. Yung syllabus po namin ay gagawin namin itong parang learning pass. So parang package siya. So di ba sa package po, uh, meron siyang mga iba't ibang laman, iba't ibang sangkap. So meron pong dalawang components, course guide at saka yung learning guide. Yung course guide po, it, it provides a roadmap, an overview, a blueprint na tatahakin po, no, no, that would indicate ano ang tatahakin ng anak ninyo mula sa Agosto hanggang Disyembre because that's the coverage of our first semester. So, sa unang araw pa lamang po, matatanggap na ng anak ninyo na kung ano ang ini-expect natin sa kanila so that they will be guided accordingly. At ang maganda po nun, tinuturoan na natin ang ating mga anak na magplano. Okay? Uh, learning guide po, mas specific ito. May mga activities, ano po yung mga dapat nilang readings. No? Ipoprovide na po yan dito sa learning pack na uh, that will be distributed to our, to our, to our students. Okay? Um, ngayon po, itong learning packs na ito, may dalawang option. Actually, tatlong options eh. Kasi nga, flexible po tayo. Ang unang option, pwede nyo po yung uh, ma-access online. No, kung okay po ang internet connectivity issues nyo via our learning management system or LMS. Second, kung wala po kayo masyadong internet connectivity uh, uh, o hindi ganun ka-stable, you also have the option to actually request for hard copies. So, ito po yung tinatawag na iba na paper-based. No? Mag-print po kami and we will go ahead and provide it to you. At pangatlo po, pwede rin po ninyo ipasave ito sa flash drive. Okay? or hard drive, or iba pa pong ano. So para po, again, kung may internet connectivity issues, you still have your hard copies. Yung anak nyo, meron pa rin po siyang hard copies ng, uh, ng kanyang learning pack or learning guide. Kaya po kung mapapansin nyo, doon po sa mga nakapag-enroll na, um, meron po doon parts sa enrollment form na binigyan kayo ng option or pinapili kayo ng option whether you want to have a hard copy or you want to have a soft copy of our learning pack. So yun po yun. No? Ngayon, uh, that's in terms of our instructional design. In our instructional model delivery, may dalawa pong pamamaraan. Okay? May dalawang approaches si, si Midway. Una po yung flip at pangalawa po ay yung conventional lecture approach. Okay? So nareceive na po ng mga anak nyo yung learning packs. Ngayon po ang susunod yung tanong, so paano yun ituturo? Ibig sabihin ba that my child would study on his or her own? Bahala na siya pag na-distribute yung learning pack. December na ba sila makikita ni teacher? Hindi po. Okay? We want to make sure that your children are still guided. Okay? So, uh, yung pagkatuto po, ito po, meron po kami yung tinatawag na flip. Pag sinabi kasi yung flip, binaliktad. Dati po kasi, di ba, sa classroom magtuturo si teacher, tapos after nun, sa bahay gagawin ni bata yung mga activities, no, yung kanilang assignments, yung mga group projects, etc. Okay? But right now, we are flipping it with the first approach. We're in, i-explore ng bata, may reading sila doon sa learning packs, no? Pag-aaralan muna nila at home, tapos may mga guide questions yun, nasasagutan nila. Kumaga, bago ka pumasok, well, bago ka mag-attend, no, sa online session mo with your with your teacher, dapat nabasa mo 
yung mga readings or may na-perform kang certain activity, ina-explore mo no, yung topic na, na ituturo. So, uh, yun po. Pagkatapos noon, firm up, deepen. Ang mangyayari na po niyan, may nakaschedule na synchronous session o ibig sabihin po noon yung magkikita si teachers at saka yung mga estudyante online. Katulad po ng ginagawa natin. So, ang assumption po pag nag-meet na si teacher at saka si, si bata is that they, or, they have already accomplished something. May idea na sila because of their readings. Ang gagawin po during that online session, ipaprocess ni teacher yung, uh, yung readings na ginawa ng bata. No? Binasa niya gabi, araw, or umaga habang nag-aalmusal, habang nakikipagkwentuhan sa inyo kasi nga po flexible. No? At pagdating na po ng online session, they will have that opportunity to discuss yung transfer po, no? Uh, doon na po pwedeng i-demonstrate ng bata yung natutunan niya. Okay? Yung mismong goal. Okay? And lastly, there is going to be an evaluation, no? So, provides feedback on learners' work in a timely manner. So, para po mas lumino to, let me give an example. So, um, for instance po, ang topic for future seafarers would be parts of the ship, no? So, sa flip classroom po, yung parts of the ship, bibigyan na si bata, may mga video links na pwede siyang panoorin. Meron siyang readings, no? Tungkol sa parts of the ship. Meron siyang drawing na kailangan niyang pag-aralan bago. Okay? Bago niya mag-meet si teacher. So, at his own pace. No? Pag-aaralan niya on, on his own. Tapos may guide questions lang siya. And then after which, kunyari nakaschedule sila ng session tomorrow. So, pagpasok ni bata in the online environment such as this, then itatanong ni teacher. So, ano yung mga guide questions? So, um, for example, in studying the parts of the ship, no, um, which part there do you think is most essential? No, which, which part there do you think is like the heart of the ship? No? So, meron pong mga ganong talakayan na, okay, na, na magaganap. So, ang expectation po is that the children already have an idea and could already participate. And then, transfer could be the children will make their own uh, uh, model of their own ship. For example, using the resources in the environment. Hindi kailangan lumabas ng bata, hindi na kailangan mag-spence kasi nga po flexible. Tapos halimbawa, yung ginawa niyang ship na yon ay pwede niya pong picturean, pwede, niyang, pwede silang mag-video conference ng kanyang teacher, pwede niyang tawagan si, si teacher na nagawa niya na ito. And then, yung feedback, pwede rin i-deliver ni teacher through phone call, uh, conference, video conference, or during consultation period. Okay? So, ito po yung tinatawag nating flip uh, class approach. So, in other words, meron pa rin po tayong guide. The other one is the conventional class approach. Ibig sabihin, ito yung po yung nakagawian. Si teacher, magtuturo muna. Mag, uh, sasabihin niya, ito yung parts of the ship, etc., etc. And then after which, mag offline na sila. So, students would be on his or her own. Okay? Uh, watching again videos, uh, engaging himself or herself with readings, no? And then, of course, ang importante lagi dito yung merong transfer of skills. Kasi po, ito po yung parang aming batayan na yung itinuro po ng mga teachers ng Midway ay kaya pong ma-demonstrate ng bata. This is our evidence of learning. And then, of course, we provide uh, uh, feedback to your, to your student. So, ganun po yung pamamaraan ng pagtuturo. So, again, ito po ay um, both online and offline. Pag sinabi po natin online, katulad po nito, gagamit po tayo ng, uh, ng uh, platform. And then pagka offline naman po, uh, the students will be in control of their own uh, of their own learning. Next, please. So I'm pretty sure yung iba sa inyo, may marami na pong mga katanungan. Just please go ahead and jot them down and we'll go ahead and have to retain them later on. So, uh, yung implementation din po ng instructional model in terms of lecture, laboratory, and uh, next please, laboratory and then yung assessment. So marahil lang tatanong sa inyo, yung lecture na address ko na siya, no? yung dalawang approaches, yung flip at saka yung conventional. Some of you would be asking, so sir, paano na po ang laboratory? Eh bawal po pumunta ang mga, mga estudyante dyan sa midway. Paano rin po yung magiging uh, test? No? Baka po magpopyahan, baka po mandaya yung mga, mga anak namin. So paano nyo po i-ensure na, na talagang uh, no, valid? yung result ng assessment at na, yung laboratory activities din ng 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 uh, aming mga anak no so let's go ahead and and discuss them now next slide please so in terms of lecture uh, we have flexible online environment um although nabanggit ko po kanina choose how when and where to learn hindi pa rin po dapat mawala na magkaroon ng mandatory ibig sabihin po ito talaga required na umaten si bata Okay? Uh, kasi po imagine niyo kung for the entire semester, 
after namin ibigay yung learning packs, tapos walang engagement, hindi nila nakikita si teacher, walang pag-uusap whatsoever, then definitely um, it, it will it will somehow uh, you know short change you know the, the quality of education. So in our program, we still made sure na meron kaming minimum the number of required online sessions. So, sampung po itong mandatory uh, online sessions with college at labing dalawa po ito sa senior high school. Uh, ito po ang schedule uh, para po magkaroon kayo ng ideya. Next slide, please. Ayan. So, um, ang nakikita niyo po ngayon is a table or a matrix nung sinasabi po nating mandatory session. So ito po yung mga required na talagang attendant ng inyong mga anak na online together with their with their teacher. So for college po, uh, session number one, yung very first day, August 24 po, or 25 or 26, whichever is the case for their class schedule, required po sila na mag-meet nila yung teacher nila online, such as this. Okay? So um, non-negotiable po yun. Kailangan po nilang mamit yung kanilang teacher. Then, uh, sessions 2, 3, and 4, mangyayari po ito sa week 2 ng kanila pong prelim. Uh, may lectures 1, 2, and 3. 5, 6, 7 po yan. Sorry, it should be 5, 6, 7. Ang susunod na nilang pagkikita ay midterm. So, ibig sabihin po, yung weeks uh, 3, 4, and 5, no? pwede pong naka-offline sila. Ibig sabihin, may mga inassign na sa kanila si teachers, may mga reading sila na dapat po nilang ikompleto. Tapos after nun, ang susunod nilang meeting will be week 6 already. So kung lalagyan po natin ito sa kalendaryo, ito po ay towards the end of September. Okay? 5, 6, 7 naman po yon yung susunod na lecture po nila will be conducted. And then week 14 po would be their uh, uh, finals. And then last week po, yung pag-synthesize na po ng kanilang uh, uh, courses. So, ganun din po sa senior high school. No? Meron po siyang mga required sessions. So, ang gusto ko pong i-emphasize dito ay um, you want to make sure that you help us in ensuring that your children attend these mandatory sessions. Kasi po sa mga mandatory sessions na ito, dito pa rin po magaganap yung typical lecture na ginagawa ni faculty. Especially po yung mga math courses. Importante po na... Um, Ma-attend nila ito because it is in these sessions that the teacher will be demonstrating how to compute, how to solve. At kung hindi po nakaattend ng ating mga anak, well, pwede pa rin po silang gabayan ng ating mga teacher. Pero syempre, iba pa rin po yung live uh, uh, interaction na magaganap. Okay? Next. In terms of laboratory, okay, um, sa plano po ng Midway, wala po munang magagawa, magaganap na laboratories. Okay? Um, what we're going to do is once it is already allowed by the government, we're going to reschedule it okay, uh, for, for the makeup session. So ang mangyayari po, yung unang bahagi po ng semestre would be purely on theoretical. Okay? Yung laboratory component po ay i-reserve po natin yan sa finals. No? Hopefully, the government would already allow okay, um, the face-to-face -face, you know, and making sure na still minimum capacity. Ngayon po, uh, ang aming pong mga teachers din ay pinag-iisip namin, no, kasi ingenuity nga po, na mag-provide ng mga alternative ng activities. So, na pwede naman po nilang i-perform kahit po sila ay hindi gumagamit ng laboratory. So, halimbawa po, uh, sa marine engineering would be use a certain equipment to troubleshoot. So, dapat po nasa laboratory sila, di ba? Pero ang pwede pong alternative doon would be to explain how to use a certain equipment no, um, in troubleshooting this particular uh, problem. Ang pwede pong gawin doon ni Bata ay i-record niya lang, ina-explain niya kung paano halimbawa magpumpuni no, gamit yung instrumento na yun. So at the end of the day, the student is able to demonstrate no, yung competency na nire-require. So halimbawa po, sa mga CSHRS or even with senior high school, yung, yung baking, di ba? Although it would have been better kung nasa, nasa midway po sila for the laboratory. And pretty sure ngayon, usong-uso na, no? Halos lahat is into baking, no? Cheese, pandesal, etc. At ang nakakatuwa po doon is pwede niya po itong gawin together with you. So magiging family-oriented din yung ating mga activity. So pwede pong uh, i-vlog niya rin yan habang siya ay nagbe-bake. So hindi lang po si, uh, si, si halimbawa si um, food and beverage ang mag-grade sa kanya. Pwede rin po siyang grade-an ng kanyang uh, ICT teacher, Information and Communication Technology. Kasi po yung paggamit ng technology ng vlog, pag-edit, no, isa rin po yung skill. Pwede rin po siyang grade-an na ni English teacher. Bakit ka mo? Because the student can explain, for example, the procedures in English. And then, 
uh, that is to actually develop the communication skill of the students. So imagine niyo, may merienda na po kayo, safe pa ang anak niyo nasa bahay, di ba? Nagkaroon ng additional skills how to bake, na express how to bake, so communication skills, na i-document through vlogging. You could just imagine, you know, at nagawa niya pa ito together with you at safe siya. So, ito po yung mga uh, isang halimbawa, no? Where in alternative activities without the use of laboratory can be can be done. Okay? Ngayon po, pag-usapan natin yung test. Paano nga po ba yung test, Mr. Wandasan? Okay, ang nakagawin po kasi natin yung paper and pencil, no? A very traditional paper and pencil. A, B, C, D, no? Sa kasamang palat po, ang ibang estudyante ay naguhula lang or nag-identify ng pattern. But that has to change. No, that has to change. So in midway, we have explored variety. No, uh, different different modes of assessment. Yung paper and pencil po natin, pwede po siyang gawin online or pwede pa rin may paper and pencil tapos is essential ng, uh, is essential ng inyong mga anak sa kanyang uh, teacher. So, ano po ito? Meron tayong mga, it would depend on the course, it would also depend on the subject, it would also depend on the, on the discipline. Ay, yung nakikita niyo po sa inyong screen, yung pangalawa, portfolio, ibig sabihin po nito, titipunin ng inyong mga anak yung ebidensya ng kanila pong pagkatuto. Alright? So, pwede po nilang picturean halimbawa yung mga uh, essays nila, ilalagay po nila doon, isasend nila in soft copies, no? Uh, into PDF file as a portfolio. Ibig sabihin po nito, ito yung ebidensya na yung mga competencies na kinakailangan ay na-demonstrate niya. Ito, this will serve as a tangible evidence, a collection of evidence that learning has transpired. At ang kagandahan po nito, kayo rin makikita nyo, di ba? Sa inyong mga anak na, ah, okay, ano, ano na ang, nasa ang part ka na ng iyong, uh, iyong uh, learning learning guide. So kayo po, namomonitor nyo dito sa may tangible uh, evidence. They will be doing case study, pwede rin po silang mag-online reports, uh, and then projects. These are all forms of assessment na hindi naman po kinakailangan ng, uh, ng uh, sit down no proctor na nakagawian natin one sheet ay one sheet apart no uh, na nakagawian po natin next please so we will have um tinitingnan din po namin yung possibility na pwede pa rin pong may sit down na proctored exam no ubi sabihin online so halimbawa scheduled prelim nila posible pa rin po yun uh, and then it can be done through our through our learning management uh, uh, system Or yun nga po, yung self-paced term exam na tinatawag na kung baga ibibigay po namin yung copy ng exam sa kanila, okay, and then they will answer on their own. So paano po yun? Paano niyo po malalaman na uh, hindi po nangopya yung anak ko or hindi nakipagbutsabahan sa kanya mga kaklase? And this is where our value of integrity will come into play. No? So, um, siyempre, hindi po natin may iwasan yung, yung uh, of course, to, to actually open their notes. Pero hindi na po kasi ang memorization, rote memorization ang itetest namin dito. Eh. Ang itetest po namin dito ay yung kanilang deep understanding of the content and the knowledge. So, we will giving them guide questions, essays, uh, etc. Okay. Now, yung virtual proctored term exam, paano po yun magaganap? So, ito po yung mga ilan. So, we will conduct it via our Google Meet or MS Team. Open notes may be allowed. No? Tuwang-tuwa ang mga estudyante ngayon, no? Open notes, yay! <laughs> diba? Pero hindi po ganun kadali yun. <laughs> okay? Because again, the, the questions will no longer just be limited to what, but it should be on the hows and the whys of things, of the theories and the principles. Next. Also on virtual, uh, you're going to answer it yeah, via Microsoft, no, online. Kung wala naman po, isasend namin yan PDF copy, pwede nyo pong iprint sa inyo on your own, tapos pwede siyang sagutan ng bata, iscan po, tapos ibabalik sa teacher niya. So, meron din po tayong ganong uh, modality. Ayan, it can be downloaded, uh, it can be printed, it can be answered manually, it can be sent back to us. Right? Next, please. Uh, sa approach B naman po, ito, uh, parang, well, first ang gagawin nito ni Midway. Kunyari po, exam week, we will give the exam on the Monday, we will upload it, okay, in our learning management system. Tapos po, meron silang deadline as to when they will be submitting it. Okay? So, um, dito po sa exam na ito, kailangan din mapatunayan ng bata na yung kanyang mga inilagay na information are actually from a valid or credible source, no? And also, we will teach our students and we will reinforce to them proper citation. Ang ibig sabihin po ng proper citation, kung halimbawa kung may nabasa ka online, tapos po nakita mo na yung idea na yon ay relevant, 
doon sa question, kailangan po ma-present mo yon as if hindi mo siya sariling idea. So, proper citation, ina-acknowledge mo na ito ay ideya ni ganito at ito ang, ang aking interpretasyon dito. So, um, actually, tinuturo po yan ng ating mga teachers ng English, no? how to paraphrase, how to summarize, and how to cite properly in their English courses. So, dito po nila ngayon yan ma-apply. So, ang gusto ko lang pong ipunto uh, sa usapin po ng test or ng assessment, even with the flexible learning program, assessment is an integral and vital component of instruction because it's our evidence of learning. It's our evidence of understanding. Magiging creative lang po tayo no, on how we do it. Creative hindi po ibig sabihin mga bata, mga mopya, di ba? Mag-group chat kayo, tapos pasahan kayo ng sagot. Because remember, we also have a way of, of monitoring no, and actually detecting you know, plagiarized work. At syempre, kung driven ka, definitely wala yan sa vocabulary mo. No? Because we uphold integrity. You know, and academic excellence. Next, please. All right. Yung grading system po natin, we will still retain, no? Uh, magkakaroon pa rin po ng written assessment ang inyong mga bat, ang inyong mga anak. Meron pa rin po tayong tinatawag na term assessment at meron po tayong mga proficiency assessment, no? Yung written po, eh, this can be submitted via email, this can be submitted our, our uh, learning management system. Pero ang big chunk po nito would be proficiency assessment, which is 50%. Because we are outcomes-based uh, uh, we are adhering to outcomes-based education uh, uh, curriculum, definitely we need to have tangible evidence of you know, students' mastery of certain competence. So, uh, sa atin pong mga magulang, marahil hindi na pulingit sa inyong kaalaman, yung mga nasa midway na po, na marami pong mga pagkakataon that your children are, are engaged in you know, um, different activities, drawing, doing video vlogs, uh, writing, etc. Kasi po ito yung trust ng ating uh, OBE, no? being able to demonstrate you know, uh, uh, competence. So ito po ay isang example lang ng, ng uh, uh, matrix. So kada course po makakareceive ang inyong anak at the start of the semester kung ano po ang ina-expect na outputs sa kanila pagkatapos ng course. No? Um, Again, what's the beauty? What's the good thing about it? Ang kagandahan po noon, kung halimbawa po ako ay naka-enroll ng pitong courses, so pag nareceive ko yung learning pack ko ng August 24th, then I can already plot my schedule. Ano ba ang dapat kong unahin? Ano yung unang deadline? Because that's how it is in the real world. Diba? When, when, when your children already start working, they will be given a lot of tasks. So this is already a training ground for them to manage you know, their, their, their tasks. No? So, ako po isa yun sa magandang na idulot nitong, nitong paraan, no? modality of, of learning. Next, please. Uh, so, marahil ang tatanong sa inyo, sir, paano na po ang practicum? Paano na po ang OJT? No? How will it actually work? So, um, for the senior high school, we will still be guided by the Department of Education's um, mandate on the conduct of work immersion. So, magkakaroon din po kami ng mga alternative modes of uh, conduct. So instead po, halimbawa yung mga uh, pupunta po sila ng hotel or ng restaurant no, para po mag-observe, then we can provide them, for example, with videos no, of a restaurant operating, explain, critique what they see in the video and write an essay about it. No? Uh, and then ikukumpile po nila into a portfolio. Same thing with our College of Business and our uh, CSHRS. Um, kung na, na, nanonood po kayo ng, ng TV at updated, di ba po may pronouncement na ang Commission on Higher Education as to the conduct of alternative modes for uh, practicum. For maritime po, based on what we received from the technical group, no, non-negotiable yung one year na onboard training. So, um, but still, some some details are still being finalized by the by the technical uh, working group, no, uh, in partnership with uh, with PAMI. So definitely, sa atin po mga, uh, from the maritime program, we will keep you posted uh, kung ano po ang magiging OBT. So ano po yung expectation natin on our learners during the implementation in terms of our learning paths? No? Uh, ito po yung mga expectations natin sa inyo. So you will be receiving it. And when, when I say you will receive it, it's either you receive it via your LMS, your email, or you will receive it through your flash drive, or you will actually receive a hard copy of it, depending on your preference. No? Um, ako po, i-encourage ko sana kayo na, um, although downloadable siya, ako po, I, I would prefer na meron pa rin kayong hard copy. Bakit po ka mo? Kasi, halimbawa, hindi stable yung internet nyo, nag-crash po yung laptop nyo, wag naman po sana mangyari, or yung device nyo. Diba? So how would you be able to access your learning pack? Pero kung may hard copy po kayo, may backup file kayo. 
'di ba? Tapos nakasave pa siya sa flash drive niyo, even better. No? So if something goes wrong, hindi rin po natin alam yung brown out, 'di ba? Or yung uh, power interruption na tinatawag. So ako po I would encourage that you still have your your hard copy of the of the module. Pag na-receive nyo lang po yan in whatever mode, the expectation for our students uh, is to actually read and understand. Okay? Gusto ko pong i-emphasize yun. Read and understand. So, uh, we are already dealing with college students, no? Ang ating senior high school din, technically our first year and second year college. So, we, we are expecting that you have already attained certain level of, uh, of, of uh, skills in terms of reading. So, I want you to process it, jot down notes, no? interact with the text so that when you meet your teacher, you ask and clarify. No, this is the time for you to actually be more engaged and be more uh, proactive in your learning. Gone are the days wherein papasok kayo sa loob ng classroom, magantay lang kayo, ng recess time, etc. That's not how it's going to work now given our situation. So we want to have more active learners and now is the opportune time. Yun. So pag nareceive nyo din yung inyong learning tasks, do a timetable. No, alam ko may mga estudyante ganon. Ah, okay, Math 1, Fort Com, uh, Nav 1, ah, ito yung schedule. Sa Week 1, ah, wala pa ako masyadong deliverable. So, pwede ko nang simulan yung nakas-assign for, for Week 2. So, di ba? Ang ganda nun, kung baga you are training yourself to organize and to plan ahead of time so you don't cram. Next, uh, pagka mga online sessions, gusto ko pong i-emphasize ito sa ating mga estudyante, no? kailangan you have to attend the scheduled online session. So, kudos po sa mga uh, on-time ngayon, no? Uh, for this particular webinar, kumbaga you're one step ahead. Second, uh, you also have to observe virtual netiquette. No? Um, you will be engaging in a lot of online sessions, not just now, and even after graduation. Kagaya po ngayon ang ginagawa natin. So, importante po na uh, you observe proper behavior as if kahit nasa face-to-face -face meeting kayo. Don't worry, we'll be providing guidelines yung teachers yung i-discuss yan. Follow the driven values, no? We cannot emphasize this during these online sessions, no? Um, especially yung mga assigned tasks ninyo. Make sure na you don't just simply copy-paste from the internet, no? But you you do proper attribution or citation. Integrity yun. Tapos, you know, uh, now is the time for you to really be more creative. Uh, and really be responsible for your for your for your learning. Follow consultation time. Mamaya po ipapaliwanag ko ano yung sabihin ng consultation time. So meron tayong mga open time wherein you can consult your your teachers. Kung halimbawa nagbabasa kayo ng learning facts, tapos meron part doon na parang hindi mo talaga maintindihan. Nag like, online ka na nanood ka na ng video pero hindi mo pa rin maintindihan. We have uh, uh, an open office time or a consultation time wherein you can feel free to chat, call, text or interact with your with your teacher to further clarify. Okay? Uh, and then, sy syempre, during synchronous meetings, so ang expectation po natin sa ating mga learners, wala pong nakapambahay. No? Remember, we are training you to become future professionals. At kahit po nasa bahay tayo, dapat we should be conducting ourselves accordingly. At kasama po doon ay yung uh, pananamit. So katulad po ngayon, di ba? you could just imagine if I'm wearing you know, sando, for example. Di ba? What kind of impression would you have about me, about Midway in general? So same thing with you. If you are attending classes, makita ka ng teacher mo na nakapambahay ka, pagigising mo lang, etc. Diba? It doesn't, you know, uh, speak so well about your personality and your possible professional demeanor. So during your online sessions, be at your best uh, uniform, okay? Um, during those online sessions. Anyway, 10 mandatory online sessions lang yun, di ba? Para hindi naman na, uh, kumbaga, manilaw. Lalo na yung mga sa, sa maritime natin, yung puti ninyo, di ba? Pag hindi yan na nagamit, ay maninilaw yan. Alright, next. For yung synchronous meetings, ibig sabihin ng online. Pag asynchronous meetings, on your own. Okay? So, remember, your teachers cannot be with you 24-7. Hindi po gising ang teacher ninyo at bantayan kayo kung whether you are doing the tasks assigned in the learning tasks or not. This is where independent learning, no? learning independently will become uh, crucial. Yung reliance then, no? self-reliance. So, ang expectation po natin is that you work on the school tasks or activities. You do not procrastinate. Oh, may word tayo, procrastinate. Ibig sabihin, alam niyo yun, yung bukas na lang, umaya na lang. Bukas na, kakabukas mo, December na, natambakan ka na ng deliverables. Diba? So, you have to make sure that, kagaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, you have to have your timetable. Uh, in case you experience technical, technical problems, we have a hotline or we have a technical support group no, that will be helping you kung meron po kayong mga uh, magiging situation. Next. 
So I think I've emphasized this, but I'd like to reiterate, you have to observe, observe integrity and excellence in all submissions. Um, my dear students, pag pinag-usapan natin yung integrity, it only means you are doing the right things even if no one is looking at you. I'd like you to digest that. Doing the right thing even if no one is looking at you. So again, your teachers will not be with you 24-7. So kailangan pagka nag-accomplish kayo ng task, whether it's an essay, a reflective paper, a critic paper, you have to make sure that you do it with all uh, all your heart and of course with utmost integrity. Okay? Next. So, um, medyo mag-recap lang po tayo. So, so far, na-explain ko na po sa inyo yung what, ano yung learning content, learning paths, how will you receive it, paano siya ituturo, yung two approaches, pwedeng flip or pwedeng conventional uh, lecture uh, approach. I also explained so far what would be the, how the laboratory activities will be conducted. Wala po muna tayo sa, sa phase one, although towards the end, kung inalaw na po ng government, we will allow that. But meanwhile, we will explore alternative activities for you. So malalaman nyo yan pagdating ng August 24th with your orientation with your, with your respective uh, instructors and your teachers for senior high school. And then I also explained how the assessment will be done, the grading system, you know, uh, in this in this uh, uh, modality or in this learning uh, phase. So now, sir, kanina po banggit ka ng banggit ng learning management system or LMS. And then a while back, our CEO mentioned about you know this exciting partnership that we had with um, a very credible and one of the the leading companies and even you know companies in the U.S. or yung mga intelligence team, no, are actually is is actually using this particular uh, uh, platform. So ang LMS po na gagamitin ng 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 Midway. Okay, next please. So of course we still have our official website. So uh, at this time, everyone is encouraged to check our website from time to time regularly. Okay, gawin po nating habit na ang website yung i-check natin. Okay, because this is where we post our announcements and other uh, important updates, no, uh, regarding the school. So ito po ang mga gagamitin natin, no. Posibleng gamitin niyo ng video conferencing. Ang ginagamit po natin ngayon ay Zoom. We also have Google Meet, pero ang isa sa mga official pong ipapagamit ay Microsoft Teams. So yes, you heard it right. Our um our learning management system would be Microsoft. Okay? Um so we have already uh uh, had finalized our our partnership with with a company that's actually offering this uh, Microsoft. At ang kagandahan po nito ay posible pong mag-add tayo ng assessment na certification. Kasi ito po yung hinahanap ng mga kumpanya ngayon eh. You know, kung Microsoft, uh, meron kang certification on the use of Microsoft uh, software and Microsoft offices, nako, malaki yung opportunity mo to actually get hired. No, uh, in a particular job. So training ground mo ito. So imagine mo, pagka-graduate mo ng midway, bihasang-bihasa ka sa paggawit ng Microsoft. No, not just the basics, but also you know the advanced features of, of Microsoft. So um, we will have a separate webinar and we will have a separate um, orientation on the, the learning management system. But I just want to, to uh, share with you na uh, we, we are able to have to, to close, you know, a partnership with uh, with 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 Odentis actually who will be providing us with this application or with this platform. Next. So sa mga online po yan, so gagamit po tayo ng Office 365. So magkakaroon kayo ng official email. So kada estudyante, meron po kayong email. Dito nyo po ma-access lahat ng learning packs. Dito nyo po sila pwedeng i-download. Dito po yung announcement nila, nila teachers, etc. Uh, we also have like our Gmail, pero most likely it's going to be our Office 365. Next please. Uh, Siyempre dahil flexible po tayo, ayaw natin ikahon kayo sa isang ano lang, no, platform. Uh, pwede rin po tayong gumamit ng call conference. No? That's why we ask for your phone number but we are guided by our data privacy uh, policy okay? uh, in, in, in adherence to the Data Privacy Act. Okay? Pwede pong magtawagan kayo. Pwede rin po ang instant messaging because I know this is one of the commonly used uh, platforms, and then you can have your SMS or your uh, short messaging, although a Filipinism for them would be text messaging. Pero kasi sa mga American or the Westerners, normally they would say, just send me an SMS. No, Pag send mo sa kanilang text message, medyo alien sa kanila yon. but that's just a Filipinism. Alright? So, ang gusto ko lang pong ipunto dito, 
Um, we have a platform that we will be using. It's official. Yun po yung uh, gagamitin po ng inyong mga teachers in communicating uh, deliverables, academic deliverables, kasi para po siyang banko na nandun po nakadeposit lahat ng mga assessments, outputs, etc. And then reports no, ng assessment that your parents can also access. So mga magulang, um, you have uh, the opportunity to actually monitor via this, this platform. So kung halimbawa, you're working, meron din po kayong uh, possible po kayong magkaroon ng sarili, sarili ninyong account. And then you, you can monitor kung na-accomplish ba ng anak ninyo yung mga in sa kanila ng kanilang mga mga teachers. But other than that, no, we can complement it with, again, call, uh, SMS, and then of course, instant messaging. But I'd like to emphasize that Microsoft will be our official uh, learning management system. Next. All right. So the first component was on course design. The second was on teaching learning. At this point, uh, you might be asking, so sir, paano na po ang guidance? Paano na po ang OSA? Magkakaroon pa po ba ng plan wars? No? Ang SHS? Paano na po ang intrams? Paano na ang, ang uh, leaders forum and all other activities? Magkakaroon pa rin po ba ng paskuhan? Etc. Etc. Um, so, uh, let me walk you through with, with our student support services. No? So, ang una po ang pinaka-support namin, of course, our primary and primordial concern is the academic support. So ano po ang aasahan nyo sa Midway? This is what you're going to expect from us in terms of academic support. We have a dedicated um, schedule for academic consultation. So that means the teachers in their faculty schedule will have this dedicated time. Na ibig sabihin, that time will be spent you know, uh, in engaging okay, uh, with you. So ibig sabihin, uh, dun sa schedule na yun, makikita nyo, ipapublish nila yon sa kanilang learning packs, naka-indicate yun. So, pwede nyo silang tawagan si teacher, pwede nyo i-chat, depending on your agreement. So, kung meron kayong for the week, for example, hindi naintindihan. And then, we also have a resource support, yung library po natin. Um, uh, we have, uh, we, we already started compiling uh, digital copies of some of our resources which will be shared to you via your email and can also probably be accessed through our learning management system. Kasi you might be asking, so paano po yan kung kailangan namin ng certain books? So paano na po yan? Since we cannot go to Midway to borrow, how will that work now? So yun po, uh, we will have an online transaction for the library support or the resource support. And then, uh, yun pong uh, learning enhancement program or LEP for senior high school. Kung matatandaan nyo po senior high school dati, di ba pagka uh, you, you can avail of tutorial services with your students ng after 2.30 onwards, no, hanggang 4.30. So that will still remain. No, there will be a dedicated hour, and again, it can be conducted online, call, conference, chat, no, and of course, some remedial classes. All right? Next. Another support that we will be providing would be technical support. So, for example, you have uh, some problems or you encounter issues in using your, uh, using your Microsoft account or your Office 365 or your email, no? Um, at hindi nyo masubmit, halimbawa, yung certain uh, requirement. Uh, there's a, a support group that will be helping you uh, in our meeting with our partner. Ang support po nila on weekdays, that's going to be from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. No? And then, ang kagandahan po, even during weekends, no, you will be supported. So halimbawa, Saturday or Sunday, you're working on something no, using our learning management system, which is Microsoft, and then something went wrong nag-hang or something, other than, for example, your internet connection, no? uh, then you can uh, contact our technical support team and we will be glad to assist you to ensure that the problem is, is fixed in the soonest possible time. Diba? So, isa yan sa magandang support na i-provide natin. Ngayon po, uh, wala na bang trabaho si Sir Kevin Wan at si Mama Joy at si Sir Roque? <laughs> No, they still, the more that they will become active this time. So, um, they will be providing psycho-emotional and psychosocial support. Alam nyo, hindi lang academics ang importante ngayon, no? Importante, mapangalagaan natin yung mental wellness, eh. I'm pretty sure in the past three months, some of you might have experienced, you know, anxiety, the well, depression is a clinical term. We have to be cautious in using that term, no? But we want to make sure now we strike a balance. Yung academics, but at the same time, your, your uh, emotional well-being. Sabi nga IQ and EQ. 
Diba yung IQ, yung intelligence quotient? So, equally important na pahalagahan din ng midway is yung emotional quotient. So, our guidance counselors will still be available for consultation, for counseling services, virtually, online. We will have more details, no? We will have a separate webinar, of course, under the leadership of our OSA director, Sir, Sir Jim Well. Yung pangalawa po, ito importante. Ito sa mga magulang po natin na nanonood ngayon. Um, ito po ay importanteng suporta sa sa panahon ngayon no yung pagtutulungan po natin na uh, uh, to ensure that your children are 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 well supported no um, for the parent school partnership meron po kami mga inilatag na certain guidelines and expectations to ensure that your child uh, at the confines of your home uh, is 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 well supported tas meron pa rin pong peer group support kasi importante pa rin yung socialization eh no yung social skills all the more right now that we need this uh, uh, peer group support no so our our, our osa will lead us to to these initiatives and to these programs so students watch out for these programs na uh, ating pong i roll out that will be done it's going to be fun it's going to be exciting right next so um, in terms of organization and management so um, we still have our student attendance monitoring, no? uh, especially on the 10 mandatory sessions. No? Uh, we want to make sure that, again, no learner will be left behind. So your teachers will still be checking your, your attendance, but, but it will not be a reason for you to actually fail. So for instance, if you attend a synchronous session or if you fail to attend an online session for one valid reason or another, for instance, there was power interruption in your area, you had poor connectivity issues, then that should not be a reason for you to fail. In our policy, in our process, and in our revised guidelines, the teacher should try his or her uh, level best and exert every effort to contact you. No, hindi lang naman yun online eh. Yung may call, may chat, kung saan ano nangyari, ba't hindi ka naka-attend. Okay, so ganito actually yung diniscuss ko. Ito yung lecture. May link akong isisend sa'yo. I'd like you to watch the video, etc., etc. So that's the kind of support that we will be providing to you. Kasi nga, ang prinsipyo namin, it should be inclusive. No, no one will be left behind. In terms also of policy, we would also like to emphasize um, the, the policy on intellectual property rights and plagiarism. So what does this mean? Um, you will be receiving materials from us, okay? But these materials are actually the exclusive, uh, uh, is, is, is an exclusive property of Midway. Uh, and, and that being said, you know, it should not be uh, reproduced, it should not be downloaded, or it should not be shared. I'm sorry, it can be downloaded, but it could not be republished without prior uh, agreement or prior consent of the owner. So, halimbawa, nag-share sa inyo yung teachers nyo ng mga slide presentations, no, ng mga readings. So, you cannot just simply share it with anyone. More especially with someone outside midway, because again, that's our property. That's the property, intellectual property of your of your teacher. But if, for example, you think it will be useful for your brothers or your sister, you have to seek your permission first from from your teacher or even from us. Okay, before you can you can you can do that. Okay, uh, again, because we are in compliance with this IPR, intellectual property rights, and also with you know data privacy. Uh, app. So, so far, we discussed na yung apat na, na components. Time check is 3.39. I'd like to spend some time no, uh, entertaining a uh, uh, question. Ang nakikita niyo po sa inyong screen, and this is actually uh, almost, we're almost at the end, uh, is a sample schedule. So, kung makikita niyo po dyan, sa pinakataas po, 7.30 to 8 o'clock. Okay? Uh, this is an example schedule for senior high school. So, 7.30 to 8 uh, homeroom time ng Monday, meaning you have to meet your advisor online ito. And then Tuesday to Friday, offline siya morning check-in prayer driven time. So ito kinoy namin to driven time. Ibig sabihin, you are on your own. So mag-prepare ka na. I mean, the things that you would normally do when you are preparing for school. Make sure that you have already eaten your breakfast, naka-uniform ka na, naka-pag-toothbrush ka, you're ready for, your, uh, for, for the day. Okay? So uh, subject one, yung nakikita nyo pong green would be uh, mga subjects nyo on a Monday, yung nakikita nyo po na, na highlighted in pink, those are your subjects ng Tuesday and Thursday. Tapos may makikita po kayo dyan kung alin yung online, kung alin yung offline. So pag nakita nyo sa class schedule nyo na online, ibig sabihin, you have to meet your teacher online no? by logging into our Microsoft team. So yun po ang ating official uh, platform. Ang gusto ko lang i-highlight, dun sa Monday to Thursday, uh, siguro if our moderator can just highlight that, 
Okay? 10.30 to 11.30, okay, makikita nyo doon, independent study time or collaborative. Yan. Thank you so much. Ayan. Okay? So, from Monday to Thursday, meron po kayong uh, isang oras, no? To actually have like an independent study time kung kailangan kayong i-accomplish na worksheet or kailangan nyo mag-group no because kailangan niyo i-accomplish yung certain task so pwedeng online yan pwedeng on your own the teacher will not be there ang principle po kasi natin dito is um balance yung screen time natin tas meron pa ring break sorry before i forget if you can highlight 9 to 9:30 yan may break pa rin po kayo in 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 between okay so for example sa monday puntahan ko lang muna ulit yung monday so sa monday magsisimula ka ng homeroom time may 8 to 9 ka ng online yan 9 to 9 to 9:30 break mo. 9:30 to 10:30 online ka ulit ng susunod mong subject. Let's say for example, English yung subject 1, subject 3 would be math. Then 10:30 to 11:30 that's your independent time. So kung may inassign sa iyo si si subject 1 at saka si subject 3, that's the time for you to probably accomplish it. 11:30 to 1 would be your lunch break. So spend time with your family, with your siblings, no? And then yung 1 to 2 mo ng Monday, oh nakikita niyo diyan sa subject 5 at saka subject 7 offline. So, ibig sabihin, in a day, ang online mo lang ay dalawang oras. Kasi, ito nga yung sinasabi ng pag-aaral, dapat yung screen time. Because too much screen time would also affect productivity. Of course, not to mention yung eyesight. Diba? So, yung schedule na ginawa ni Midway is anchored also on, on these important principles. Not just academically, but also from a health perspective. So, yung subject 5 and 7 mo, dahil mag-online kayo ng Wednesday, Sa Monday, pagandaan mo na. May readings ka doon na tinatawag. No? Uh, meron kang mga kailangan i-accomplish na worksheet. Afternoon, we also have a provision for afternoon break. Ito na yung sinasabi kong consultation time, students and parents. So, lahat po ng teachers namin will be available, for example, for senior high school, 3.30 to 4.30. For college po, medyo varied yan. Uh, so, this is when you can, halimbawa sa subject 1 mo, ng 8 to 9. Pero kung hindi na itindihan ng online, then you can get in touch with your teacher during that time, ng hapon. Pwede mo siyang tawagan, talk, or you know, kung okay yung internet ninyo, you can do online consultation. Okay? And then towards the end, alas 5, kung meron kayong deliverables na kailangang isubmit, meron din po kami inilagay na dito na lahat lang po ng deliverables ninyo ay isasubmit nyo ng 5 o'clock. Because after 5, we want you to spend time with your family. We want you to enjoy uh, TV Patrol. Well, wala na pala yung ABS-CBN. No, kung na, at least naka-cable ka. We want you to enjoy your teleserye. We want you to enjoy, you know, your chit-chat with your with your family. May hugot ako sa ABS-CBN, ano? So, di ba? Ang ganda niya, yun yung schedule. And then the following day, refresh ka, rejuvenated ka, and you're excited again for your next class. Sa Tuesday, o tingnan mo, offline ka muna. Di ba? Hindi online, offline. So, meron siyang variety ngayon. Di ba? Ang ganda nung, nung scheduling. I want for us to focus on Friday. So, senior high, for example, so, college possible din ito. Sa so, Friday, tingnan nyo, may wellness time kayo kasi hindi pwedeng mawala ang PE. So, yung mga nagsasabing, dapat wala na muna ang PE. Uh, midway de- beg- begs to differ. Okay? Uh, dapat po may PE pa rin. Tapos, yung LEP nyo na dating Wednesday, 9.30 to 11.30 na siya. So, dito papasok yung clan wars, dito papasok yung after class support, dito papasok yung remediation class, or halimbawa si Sir Roque ay merong uh, pakulo or ang guidance would have something. This is the block time. No, mag-zoom meeting, Microsoft team meeting, di ba? Um, that will support. So, kumbaga yung Friday natin would be a way for us to to further enhance, you know, our learning through other through other means. Tapos yung sa hapon, yung 1 to 4.30, this is a time dedicated for the faculty to actually uh, upgrade their skills, no? Uh, further develop materials for the following or succeeding weeks. So during this time, wala dapat mang i-storbo kay teacher. Walang consultation muna during that time, the 1 to 4. Kasi precious time niya ni faculty for himself or for herself. So, typically, that's how uh, how the schedule works. For college, medyo may variety siya, pero ganito rin ang principle niya. So, kung makikita niyo po, sa pinakababa, gusto ko lang i-highlight, especially po sa mga magulang na may concern about, you know, spending too much time online. Uh, we have our total online time, maximum of 2.5 to 3 hours in a day. No, it could be lesser. Depende rin po sa magiging agreement with the, with the, with the students. So, in a nutshell, yan po yung sample class schedule. Next, please. Thank you.